Good morning. This this message is for my people in South Andros. I believe that we are all tired. If if you're not tired, I am tired for you. Because I'm tired of people using South Andros as the stepping stone for them and not being the uplifter, the person to be a stepping stone for Andrus. We have too many persons coming to our island or using our island as the foundation for them to go up, but then they are not coming back or building on that foundation. It has gone on for far too long. Elections are coming up again and persons are going to come there with all sorts of good talks and promises and then go right back into business as usual once they are elected to office. I personally wish that I had the means to run for South Andros because I believe that our island needs genuine representation from people who are sincere in how they feel about this place and where they want to see our island and our people go. And I think we need to get to that point where we stop electing people who are not genuinely interested in us who are not investing in us, who are not coming back into the community, who are not paying attention to our people, who only visit us when it is convenient for them. I think it is time that we get to the point where we start electing folk who are not just taking care of the cliques, but are dealing with all of us as South Androsians and as Bahamians. South Andrus, it is time for us to wake up and smell the coffee. It is time for us to come to reality. We have to start looking into people who really and genuinely care about our island's advancement. I've had enough of people using us to get from one level to the next and not really putting into us what we deserve. How can someone truly represent you? If they don't live there and understand the pains and the situations and the difficulties and the trials and the tribulations that you actually go through, how can someone truly represent you if they don't really know how to address your concerns because they don't really experience it? South Andros, we have got to stop making the decisions that people want us to make and start making decisions for ourselves, the decisions that we want to make. We know where we want to go. We know where we want to be. We know we want where we want our island to be. If you haven't had enough, I've had enough for you. We have persons there who are talented, who can lead in various agencies, who know what needs to be done, who know what the needs of the people, people are. And we need to give these persons the opportunity to lead. I sincerely and truly wish I didn't have these little loans on my head, little bills, because I would, without a dollar, come forward and represent my island. Because South Andros truly and genuinely needs somebody who has the best interest of the people at heart. I've had enough of people coming and talking and laughing and grinning in your face and cracking jokes and talking all kind of foolishness and then when it's time to reach them you can't reach them when it's time to call them you can't get them they only know you when they need you oh yeah politics time everybody around the place doing like they're doing this and doing that uh, and everybody they're now People are making developments and doing new stuff now. Now the elections are coming up. No, and doing as if they're doing you a favor. No, they don't. They're not doing you any favor. They owe this to you. How do you feel? People saying, "Oh, South Andrews is the bastion of this political party, or the, the the stronghold of that political party," and you have nothing to show for it. How do you feel? If you don't feel bad, I feel bad for you. It is time now for us to face reality.
get it together elect persons who have our best interests at heart and who are serious about us and who are going to invest in our community have a little shop have a little house have something there to say okay this place means something to me and it's time to stop electing people who are only guiding the development and the interests and the money from the government to a certain group of people it is time to stop electing people who are not looking at South Andrews as a whole and only looking at particular sets of people who they pay attention to. We need to move away from that. All of us have a right to have a piece of the pie, to have our hands, to be able to contribute to the development of the island. We just like how we get together and vote, we have a right to have a say and, and, and the, our MPs and the persons who we elect ought to come to us. Not to their special cliques and different groups and certain persons. Hard enough for that. South Andres, let us wake up. And let's make these people realize the days of playing games are over and finished and done with. If you don't have my best interests at heart, don't come to my door, don't come to my face asking for no vote. I don't have you to study go out of my face and let me let the person who gen, who's genuinely concerned about what's going on and really wants to do something for us come there and do it and you're going to demonstrate that by at least having a place of residence there or having something where we know that you actually mean well for us i've had enough south Andrews. i'll say it again if you're not tired i'm tired for you let's get it together Thank <laughs> you.